Morning, everybody. It's uh, 836 on Tuesday, the 10th of September, and this is your pre-opening comment video number 2243. And we start with Asia and Europe being both lower. Uh, we also, as I mentioned uh, in Sunday's letter, have um, what I think is somewhat important information this morning. Coming out at uh, 6 a.m. was the NFIB Small Business Optimism Index, uh, which fell to 91.2 versus 93.7. Um, this is a survey, uh, just like it sounds, small business, whether they're optimistic or not, they're less optimistic, um, and 2%, uh, 2.5% is a fairly decent decline. As far as um, stock futures, we have the Dow up 25, we have the NASDAQ up 48, and the S&P up 13. So it's kind of a quiet day. Uh, as far as the rest of the futures markets, we have grains slightly lower, we have oil lower, heating oil lower, gasoline moderately lower, nat gas up about uh, seven cents, so really not much action there either. We also have gold up three dollars, and we have the silver up about 12 cents. Copper is down again, uh, down, you know, about two cents, so nothing overwhelming. Uh, cotton up a little, coffee up a little, sugar, cocoa, both down a little. Uh, orange juice down a dollar seventy. Uh, as far as the dollar, we are up about a dime at one hundred one eighty seven. Bitcoin uh, up two hundred. Ethereum, you know, up up five dollars. So very quiet. And we have the bonds down eleven thirty seconds. So um, it's really kind of a quiet morning all around. Um, Alphabet, uh, EU court upholds the fine of $2.4 billion for abuse of dominant position. You know, this is bullshit. Uh, you know, when did a company building a better mousetrap and gaining a dominant market share become a reason to fine them for, uh, you know, antitrust. Uh, Apple this morning, 218.40 down 251 or 1.1%. 1 .1%. The EU Court of Justice upholds a judgment concerning tax rulings in Ireland in favor of Apple, and yet the stock is down 1.1%. I think this has a lot more to do with yesterday's um, Apple event which a lot of people were uh, very disappointed in from the standpoint of, you know, they were talking about a massive uh, refresh cycle. But as it turns out, a lot of the things that uh, they're talking about for the 16 and the 16 Pro are going to be phased in. It's not going to be a one day you can buy this and all of a sudden you'll have all of these extra added AI features. They're being phased in over time. And so I think that's a disappointment. Um, Oracle beat big. Uh, they beat by six cents, which doesn't sound very big, but they reported inline revenues and they guided uh, the November quarter earnings per share and revenues higher. Uh, the stock is 150.157. That's up 11.60 or 8.3 percent. HPE, which is HP Enterprises, uh, doing a 1.35 billion dollar offering of a mandatorily. Um, convertible preferred stock. That one is down 91 cents or 5.2% at 1669. Under Armour, basically unchanged, actually down a nickel or seven tenths of a percent on an update to their restructuring program. And Goldman Sachs is down about $4 at 484. That's also seven tenths of a percent because the CEO said that trading revenues are headed for a 10% drop in Q2. 
Q3. So there we have it. Um, tomorrow we start to get uh, bigger numbers. First thing in the morning we have CPI, core CPI. Thursday, besides claims, we have PPI and core PPI. Um, and then on Friday we have uh, export and import uh, prices and the University of Michigan consumer sentiment. So there you go, folks. That's all there is. It's going to be a quiet morning. We'll see what develops.